Hello and welcome to Killing Floor. Um, this is a short series I'm going to do. Basically, Frontiers take you a while longer to get some decent footage, and um, our channel mistress is getting a tad impatient with that, so I thought let's give her something. So, this is a shooter game available on Steam. Uh, normally played multiplayer, but for the purposes of this, we're going to be playing it uh, in single player. Uh, quite a lot of DLC available for this game as you can see it's ticked there too in particular that I've got the golden weapon pack and a particular character I'll show you those soon uh, starting a new game uh, choose a map you'll see you've got a few to choose from here there are community maps and stuff available but I normally stick to the official stuff uh, difficulty we're going to go normal game length we're going to go for a short game you can uh, basically there'll be waves of enemies attacking you and this determines how many there are I think it's four seven ten and obviously custom uh, we're going to go for offices as our map I think offices and West London are two of my favorites so we might end up seeing both but for now we're just going to go with this one <coughs> good old-fashioned loading screens loading 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 always lots more loading in your own time chap okay so Oh, there we go, an advert for one well, of the DLCs. Basically, a lot of the DLCs are just characters you can unlock. Uh, up here, you can see we're waiting for players to be ready. You can have a maximum of six. Uh, this is a list of perks, otherwise known as classes, you can play. Uh, each one has its own special bonuses and such. Uh, you can also see there's levels against them, so for example I'm a level 5 field medic whereas I'm only a level 4 support specialist. Over here you can see a list of all the bonuses that I get from being a level 5 field medic. Among other things I spawn with body armor which is quite helpful. Saves me some money on my first wave so we're going to go with medic. Uh, we're going to change character uh, most of these are skins available from DLC. Just because it showed us the advert for him, we're going to use the robot. You get a little bit of a biography down here about the character. Okay, so we're basically set up there. And we are ready to start. Okay, if that was some ammunition we just picked up, in the bottom right corner uh, you'll see 15 is the number of bullets I currently have in the gun. That's a clot, how very rude of it to interrupt me. 9 is the number of magazines I have for this particular gun, and 3 is the number of grenades. Right, so, clots. Actually, you'll see that 100 is now going down, that's how long I can keep my flashlight on for. It, um... Will you sod off I'm talking? It, um, obviously in darker areas can be quite useful. Right, uh... The trader in between waves you get to go see her and spend money which you can also see is down in the right corner uh, buy more weapons and equipment bottom left corner we've got health body armor and how much I'm carrying as you can see we're at 1 hour 15 Uh, as we buy more weapons that will go up as it is we've started with a pistol and a knife you can see there's an arrow telling us where the traders go to spawn next it's usually a good idea 
to try and get somewhere near her before the end of the wave. Uh, top right corner you'll see we're on wave 1 out of 4 because I selected a short game and there are currently 10 enemies left. Ooh, fire axe. Now that's called Z time, what just happened there. Basically sometimes when you kill an enemy you can get that. Uh, you'll see our carrying went up from 1 to 6. That's because the fire axe takes up 5 slots. This is where our trader is going to spawn in a minute, so we want to be near here. Uh, one thing about clots you'll find, they grab hold of you. Now certain classes are better at dealing with that and can uh, avoid it, but what it does mean is if you get surrounded by them you can get a bit screwed. The big guy behind them is a bloat. He'll puke on you, which keeps doing damage. As you can see I've shot his head off, but it takes him a moment to die. Okay. If you have a melee weapon out, you tend to run faster than carrying anything else when going to the trader. Hello trader, it's a good idea. Uh, first thing we're going to do is sell the fire axe, because I don't really like it. You'll see we've got quite a bit of cash there. Uh, I'm going to switch perks, so I'm going to be a support specialist now. Which you can see gives me a different level of bonuses. Uh, going back to the store. I'm wondering if it noticed that I... Hang on. Uh, these are the weapons. You can see there's a support specialist tag there, so I get a discount on them. Uh, that's the golden weapon. Right now we are going to have Vlad the Impaler, because I quite like that one. And we are going to have an HSG-1 shotgun. As you can see, you have a time limit on the trader there. That's some good stuff I sold you. Okay, so we've now got our shotgun, and Vlad the Impaler will use that. Uh, this is a gore fast, was a gore fast. Uh, as the name suggests, he runs quite fast, and you might see he's got a big fucking blade on his arm. I'm right clicking when the weapon goes into the middle there, that's kind of a easier target option. Oh, siren at the back. Her there. She'll scream, and um, if you're in range, that scream will do damage. One thing to note about the support specialist class, you'll see I'm ca currently carrying 15 out of 20. The support specialist can actually um, carry more stuff. Uh, you'll see I got myself a little bit stuck there. Oh, and I got myself hit by that. Oh, we're not doing well, are we? Okay, I just healed myself. Using, uh, every character has a syringe. Now, you can use it on other people, but obviously I'm playing single player. So I'm just going to use it on this cell. Um, the stalker there, who was invisible until I shot her, she only goes visible when you when she attacks. The little spider things there, crawlers, can be quite annoying. Uh, Pick up the ammunition. Always pick up ammunition when you get the chance. Uh, now you'll see in the bottom right, as I have the med syringe out, there's a t there's a counter there. Uh, to use it on someone else, that has to be at about 50. To use it on yourself, it does have to be on 100. So when you're playing with other people, it's always better to heal someone else than to heal yourself. The other thing we have, which I'll show you, is the welder. Now this is something the support specialist does quite well with. Uh, where's a good spot to test it? Uh, this, no, not 
this one. This one will do. So you can press E to close the door. Oh, we picked up another handgun. And then you can use the welder to try and seal the door. So now, if they want to come through that door, they have to break it down first. Now, like with the syringe, all, all characters have that, but the support specialist does better with it. Hi there, bye there. Now this is where you have one clot left. This is a good position to be in when you're not near the trader because you can just basically lead it there. This is my dual shot, dual handguns now. Not all weapons have the flashlight on, you'll find, so that's one of the main reasons that I use handguns when I'm playing as this character. Rawr. Okay, that was just me praying about. How the med syringe works on this character, I don't know. Right, uh, we're going to sell the extra pistol. Obviously, we don't really have the space to pick up anything that impressive. Ooh, Tommy Gun. That might be quite fun, just for the hell of it. As you can see, we can get weapons for other classes, but those ones, for example, are all uh, <coughs> firebug. In fact, let's go firebug for the next wave. So we're going to sell off the shotguns. And we are going to get some flare revolvers. and a trench gun and we're also going to buy some armor before I forget now you can purchase ammunition but I normally don't bother it was fun having you all, because you can just pick now. it up like that it's only when I'm really low on ammunition I'll tend to do that right so one of the main things about the firebug is we set shit on fire Oi. Ooh. Right now, there's another gun there, but it's too heavy considering what I'm already carrying. So, we'll have to leave that. But again, that can be quite good if you join a game that's part way through, for example. Uh, always be on the lookout for... Oi, get off me! Screw this. Um, okay, that is not generally regarded as a good idea of what I just did, but it got us out of immediate trouble. But as you saw, that did quite a lot of damage. But considering the amount of hostiles there, I decided it was the best. Discretion being the better part of Valor. Uh, where the screen's shaking like that, that's our friends, the Sirens, that I warned you about earlier. Another fire axe, but again, it's too heavy for us to pick up. Ooh, we got a machete! Uh, obviously, if you're playing with a group, there'll be more, slightly more tactics than what I'm doing here. As people might say, for example, oh, let's bottleneck at a specific point, in which case, again, you know, the support specialist can be quite a good one. Because you could, some people on this map, for example, will try and defend this corridor, as you can block off most of the area most of these doors and so you'll kind of have only two or three places the enemy will be coming at you from burn baby burn 
uh, you can press tab to get an update during the match so as you can see you can see me 80 kills zero assists my health is looking quite good now I've got just over a grand hi there ugly Now, okay, here I've started a bit far away from the tractor, so what we want to do is run downstairs as quickly as we can. Uh, you'll see in the top right you've got the timer for how long we've got to get there. And this red line tells you roughly where to go. Here we go, hello. So, we'll repair our armour, we are going to go... Sharpshooter, I think. You can only uh, switch perk once per map. Uh, weapons, weapons, what weapons do I want? I'm very aware of the time over there. Let's have one of those. Right, that was a sniper rifle I picked up. Possibly not. Oh, son of a bitch. Right, this guy is called a Flesh Pound. Boom! To hell with you, Father Mucker. Um, normally... Right, we're going right away just to try and... Um, normally, the Flesh Pound is an absolute nightmare to kill. However, dude with the sniper rifle could apparently do it in a single shot. It ha I haven't necessarily played this very much recently, so some of these weapons I've never actually seen before as they weren't available last time I used to play. So while that... Ooh! Smeg! 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 Alright, that's a... That little trip down the stairs was a very good example of doing it wrong. not like this sniper rifle. I'm sure people that are better at playing Commando would love this gun, but I am not particularly good at playing Commando. I do not like this gun. Alright, sorry about that. Um, screencast is not the best program to record with, and uh, it decided to pause for no apparent reason. If anyone can recommend a better program to use that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, please do, and I'll be happy to use it. Oh, dude with the... Bam. You may have seen there was a dude with a, um... Chainsaw at the back there. Hopefully I got him, because he can be an absolute nightmare as well. Once you... S Once you start attacking him, he'll, um... What will he do? He'll start charging at you faster and do a hell of a lot of damage very quickly. So, uh, again, he's one to take out as quickly as possible. One good tactic for that is um, if you have a very good... Last chance, boys. Spend it while you've got it. 
if you have a decent berserker on your team, they can normally do quite well against uh, chainsaw wielding maniacs. Right, so final wave next, we're going to buy some ammo, we're going to switch back to a perk that I'm a bit more comfortable with. Because it would be a bit embarrassing if I do all this and then we lose. Uh, we will also have the combat shotgun. And this time, because it's the last wave, we will fully fill up on ammo. We're about to meet the Patriarch. What have you done to my children? Oh, that's not very far away, is it? He's in there somewhere. Right, so this is basically the big boss fight. Where's he gone? He can turn invisible, I should mention that. Oh, there he is. Oh! Right, he's run away. But... Some friends of his have come to play. Basically, once you do enough damage, he'll retreat temporarily. If you do enough damage, you can get him before he retreats. However, obviously, I didn't do quite enough there. Here he comes. Oh, hell yeah! And that is how it is done. There you go, have some money. Money, money, money! You can throw money at people. Which is particularly good if somebody um, comes in late to a match. You can give them some money so they can actually defend themselves. But anyway, that's a match of Killing Floor. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, I might do another match on another map in another video, or we might go for a different game altogether, but this... It gives you something to watch, so for now, bye bye